Hello guys and welcome to my Matrix Floyd channel and today we are going to see how to make commits in the past as well as in future. So I'm going to teach you how to make commits in the past and same thing you can apply. You just have to change the dates and the duration and uh, you have to just modify the script. I'm going to provide you the script. It will be in the description. I'll give you the link so you can visit my GitHub channel and from there you can pull the script. Okay, so you'll be going to learn at the end of the the session this video you'll be going to learn how to create this kind of commits in your own github account okay so without wasting our time let's get started the very first thing we are going to need is a github account and the second thing we will need a linux environment unless and until we don't have a linux environment we will not be able to do it okay so i'll give you a hack for it how to do it and how we are going to proceed so step by step we will move further it's a very easy step if you follow each step carefully and correctly then you will get the thing the same thing in your own github account so without wasting our time let's get started so here is my github account i have already created it and as you can see over here there are no such kind of commits so in 202023 there is no commit and 2024 yes there is one commit in on uh, that is on april 19 okay so we're going to see how to fill this everything okay now the very first thing we will need a api key so i have created it already and uh, here it is so you have to go to the settings some of you might not have it so i'll tell you go to the settings developer options click on personal access token click on token classic and here you will get so i have created this full access api so what i'll do is i'll just delete it and i'll click on generate new token i'll give it a name as same full access api key and expiry date or no expiration repo and then just select all the options over here you have to select all the options once it's done click on generate token and then copy this api key and keep it safe so i'll be saving it in the browser only i'll use an online notepad and i'll store it over here only so control c control v and it's safe now the next thing i have to do is to get a linux environment so uh, the trick for it is you can create an account on amazon azure or linode i personally use linode for hosting a vpc or creating a basic server so i have created a small instance on it and i have i'll be using that thing for your for our linux environment so here is my terminal and now we are going to connect to the server so here is my IP address and it's done. So I have connected to my server. Now what we are going to do is we are going to check whether the Git is installed or not. Because without it, we will not be able to communicate with the GitHub. And indirectly or directly we have to communicate with the GitHub and then we will be going to achieve our goal. Now the very first thing you have to do is you have to check whether the Git is there or not. With the command sudo apt install git. Enter. So it's telling me it's already installed. Some of you guys will may face that it's not installed. So you just have to press Y and then enter. You just you just have to give a confirmation for it and then it will be installed. It's very, very simple. Now the next thing you have to do is you have to configure a global variable for your username and for your email ID. Okay, now you have to take care that it should be the username and the email id should be same as your github account whatever username you have used over here same exact name you have to use and the same exact email id you have to use so the next thing you have to do is you have to set the global you have to set it like git config global user dot name and then in the double quotes you have to put your 
username that will be matrix lloyd better you should copy that name and paste it over here directly to to, to prevent the mistake this like this so it will be m a t r i x p l o i t so matrix lloyd and then enter and then you have to set the email as well so email will be email and then space and then you have to put the same email id what you have used for logging into the account so in my case it's proxy.19 at the rate gmail.com so it's done and then you just have to hit enter so that's it now you have set the global variable for username and the email now the next step in this is you have to create a directory so i'll just list what stuff i have so i don't want this stuff i'll just create a test directory so it's already there i'll create test2 and then just enter into the test2 so i have been navigated inside the text test2 and its path is root and test2 so now here i'm going to execute a command that is git init now in very basic term git init what does it do it will initiate the git inside this particular directory so that you will be able to connect your this directory with your github account basically you are initializing with git init command so we'll do it git init enter so it's done now if you execute ls hyphen la so here you will see dot git file okay so now i have a script so i'll give you the link for that particular script which you can use basically what it does it will commit the particular thing on a particular date so on github it will be listed as like you have committed on that day so the stuff is very basic very clear so we're going to see it in practical okay so now let's get started so i'll just create a file name as shell or i'll give it as auto commit.sh so basically it's an uh, bash script so you can use it i'll just paste it over here and here is my script control c and the script is saved so as expected the script is saved i'll move it like ch mod plus x i'm giving it execution permission and then auto commit.sh so it has given the execution permission now i'm going to run this script but before running the script make sure to edit it i'm going to edit it with nano editor and here you have to take care on which date you want to make the commits so basically 2023 now here i'll check for this thing so 2023 on which date i want to do it uh i'll do it for 2024 from this date till let's say the contributions are there so we will make it for april 19 that is 2024 so i'll modify this for 2024 and it's april so i'll make the date as 19 april 19 and here it will be 03 it will be 04 and then here you have to do it like okay now here is the catch so whatever you want to do it like randomly what will be the randomness out of 10 so if you give the randomness as 3 so it will give randomness of 3 so let's say and if you selected 10 days so in 10 days it will give commit for 3 days only okay and if you selected 100 days and then for 100 days it will get it for uh, 30 days so it's like that so you have to arrange it according to your need whatever you want to add and then the main thing is here so these are the number of days whatever number of days you want to commit so for now i'll make it like till today's date it will be 2nd of june so i'll make it for 2nd of june how many days it will be so i'll just use a simple logic so it will be online days calculator you can also use it i'll give you this link for this particular thing 
so here it is so it's 19th of april and then year is 2024 until today's date so calculation 44 days i've got the 44 days so what i'm going to do is i'll put it over here as 44 okay now it has done for 44 days so from 19th april till 44 days means till today's day okay it will going to give a random commits okay for make for you to make sure i'll show it to you i'll just reload this page so you'll get to know there are no kind of commits till now there are no commits over here and it's it's in the past date okay so what i'm going to do is i have selected the randomness as three and yeah i'll keep it as three and everything is fine i have selected the date i have selected the number of days and the randomness so now control x y enter save and then just run the command uh, run the script as dot slash auto underscore commit dot sh whatever name you are going to give your to your script that thing you have to get and then enter so it has done your thing might your laptop might get uh, some time to do this particular thing of commits but it will be done okay so after that you need a tool that is called as gh you have to configure your api key so you have to install this another tool that is called as sudo apt install gh and enter so as i have already installed it so now after installing the tool you have to do is to configure it so what you have to do is gh space auth login and enter so as you enter you will see two options that is github.com and github enterprise service server so you have to choose github.com and then https and then here you have to press y enter login with a web browser or paste an authentication token so here you have to choose paste an authentication token and then wherever you have kept the authentication key you have to just copy it and you have to paste it over here and enter you have successfully configured your account on your terminal after that you have to set the url so you have to set it like this and you will get this thing on over here you just have to copy this particular thing whatever your in your case it will be different so just copy it and type it in front of it get remote set url origin and then put the url over here and then enter so it's done now what you have to do is get push enter so first time you will get this kind of error just copy it control c and then control v and then just do enter so as you do enter everything will be pushed so we're going to check it then here on our github account if you reload this page and if you check so here more files are created and it's around two minutes ago right and my account was not having any kind of commits so here you are seeing see for this year it's four contributions here it's on this particular day it's two contributions and now what i'm going to do is i'll just select this particular date it's february 10 till i'll do it like april 19 so february 10 so it will be 10th of february 2024 and 19th and it's april 2024 calculate the duration now it's around 69 days from 10th february so what i'm going to do is i'll just do it nano auto commit dot sh it's 10th of february and how many days it was it was around 69 days so i'll make it 69 and randomness i'll keep it for four now okay if you increase the randomness it will increase the commits okay so now control x y enter save and then you have to just do auto commit.sh run the script enter it's done how many commits it has made it's, it has made around 25 commits okay now what i'm going to do is get push 
enter so it's done now here if i reload this page or i simply click on this particular thing so now like this it has added the comments right again if i run for the same date if i run for the same date it will select random dates in between this range only okay but for how many randomness what is the randomness it's four so around four percent forty percent okay so i'll just run it again i'll just push it get push and then i'll check if i click on it so it has created random comments okay now to make it more look like more genuine what you can do is uh, just change this particular name with any kind of repo and put your project over there that's it it's a simple kind of hack you can use it and that's it for today's video if you have any kind of doubt you can reach out to me through linkedin and to various types of things i'll put all the whatsapp group uh, in the comment section you can access it and i'll regularly put over their updates okay so that's it for today and goodbye